Yeah, Frankie? I knew things were slow, but... I'll tell you what. Let's work on this thing together. You keep your eyes open for me, and I'll, I'll do the same for you. That's a good idea. Okay. I'll stay in touch with you. Provided you maintain at least a B average throughout your senior year, you are hereby accepted in <laughs> the university. Oh, congratulations, brother. Take that. I'll go tell him. Hey, Dad, what is this? Coming? Now I've been a breadwinner for 30 years. I'll find another job. Right, Joey? Right. Right. No big deal. Come on. of fellas working for me. They'd give us a quota to fill, and we always did it. Always. Lord, I'm going to miss those guys. Even when the plant does come back, it's not going to be the same. Dad. You're not waiting for it to open, are you? No, hell no. I'm hustling all the time. No, I just, I just miss it, that's all. Let's go home. Marston. Hi. I'm calling for Westside Carpet Fishers. We're having the New Year's special on all our work this month. Hello? Oh. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I still hate it when they hang up on me. Oh, boy. You tired? Oh. I've made over 120 mm. calls today. Oh, my heck. Any sales? Three. Ben and me drove all the way out to Briarwood, and the so-and-so's not even there. Can you beat that? We had a definite appointment, and he's not even there. Oh, Boy, the way they treat you when you're down, I mean, first it's waiting until after the holidays, then it's not even there. How are you doing? Not too good. What did the coach say? And the seventh guy who's quit the team. They're all out looking for the same jobs I'm looking for. I appreciate you're looking for work. I feel like I'm stealing your senior year. Oh. Dad, it's not your fault. Well, now tell me, how did grades come? Great, I think I'm getting mostly A's. Oh, wonderful. No, That's know. wonderful. College for sure, huh? Let me cut you a piece of this. No. Huh? Dad, what about those retraining programs? You gonna try those? <laughs> no. No, son, those are for the younger men. You know, I can't afford to spend six months learning computers or electronics and then start at the bottom. I've been a foreman for over 10 years. I don't expect to make the same kind of money I was making at the plant, but I gotta come close. You see, my benefits run out in March, and I sure hope I connect before then. I don't look so glum. Something will happen. I know it will. We're offering a new year. Half the kids in this town been through here trying to get a job pumping gas, you hear me? Half the kids in town. Look, it's, uh, Two dollars an hour, Joey. Take it or leave it. All right, I'll take it. Huh? I'll take it. Lord, on this Easter Sunday, we thank thee for this meal. We thank thee for all thy blessings. Amen. Amen. Hey, where'd we get this ham? Oh, a lady from the church brought it. Kathy. Yeah. 
How's it going? No, 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 no. We just had a... Yeah? Oh, yeah. Wait till I get a pencil. Let me have a pencil. Come on, come on. Okay, go ahead. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, gee, that's great. Oh, thanks a million, Ben. This is my love the family, right? Bye, guys. Did you get a job? Oh, you're a nosy kid. Come on, tell us, Dad. What'd he say? Did you get a job? Not yet. But I got one great lead. You know, the warehouse by the airport. They need some new salesmen. And I'm going to be the first thing in the morning. You know, I figure if I can make steel, I certainly ought to be able to sell it, right? Talk to me. Can you imagine that? Fifty-one years old and they won't even talk to me. Hell, I can sell steel. I made it for twenty-eight years. What are you gonna do? Maybe call Ben, get the latest word on the plant. The plant's not gonna reopen. Gotta reopen. Got to. It don't reopen and. Half the guys in this town are going to go nuts, including me. Uh, listen, I, I, I got to get to work. Wish I had to. You know, things are getting pretty tight. You think maybe we should apply for welfare? Come on, Mary. We're not that bad off. Well, honey, your, your unemployment benefits run out in, what, two weeks? We still have all the same payments. Mary, welfare is for poor people. Where's your pride? Pride? Honey, we... We're almost through the savings. I mean, everything except Joey's. No. Nope. I'll dig ditches, but no welfare. Watch you, you're a self-starter. Here's $120. I raised you to $3 an hour. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mr. Gates. I appreciate that. Call me Paul. Yeah, yeah, sure. Paul? <sighs> I don't know. Honey, look, at, look for yourself. But I promised him. I said, you get the grades, I'll get the money. Frank, we don't have any choice. Everything else is gone. Honey, there he is now. Come on, we've, we've got to ask him tonight. Please. We're stealing his life, don't you see that? Frank, he'll go to college. If he wants it bad enough, somehow he'll find a way. You guys are up late, huh? Well, we, uh, trying to... Cover the bills. Good night. Joey. Oh, honey, um, we're going to have to, uh, we need to use your college fund. If we don't, I mean, we'll lose the house. We will. We waited till the last minute. I, all of it. We don't know yet. Dad? 
I'll make it back, Sean. I promise. stuff so fast. You know, I've been doing this for a few years. Yeah, you know, a lot of those college guys are starving to death. Can't eat those fancy degrees, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I don't have to worry about that, right? Hey. <laughs> hey, Paul, thank you. Thanks for the raise. How you doing, Dad? You're drunk. Well, it's just a couple of beers. You're not old enough for that stuff, Joy. Why didn't you call? Your mother has been worried sick. Why didn't you call? It's us? no big deal. The boss gave me a raise and we had a couple of beers. It's no big deal at all. The big deal is that you have a 12 o'clock curfew. You know that. Not anymore. I work till 10, then I hose down. 40 hours a week plus school. I'm not gonna take a lip from you, Joy. When you're working, we'll talk about it. What? Damn it! 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 Joey, he's your father. It's 550 with the oil. What are you doing here? We have to talk. Can't it wait till I get home? When are you ever home? Wait inside. Here's your change. I saw your report card today. You're down to two B's and all the rest C's. It's no big deal. I'll graduate. What about college? You cash that in, remember? You can still go to community college and live at home. Oh, and watch him stare at television all day? No thanks. I'm saving up and getting out just as soon as I can. Do you have any idea, young man, how guilty he feels? Guilty? Sure he does. That's why he's got you and me working our buns off while he just sits there. Joey, be fair. Oh, Mom, you know what you gotta be in this world? A self-starter. When one thing goes flat, you go out and you try another. He stopped trying. He's given up. Well, at least he's still here. What does that mean? Dad's friend from the plant, Ben Crowley. Yeah, what? He blew his brains out, Joey. <laughs> Oh, 
Can I come in? You're in. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, come on. You remember when I got lost? It must have been about four or five. I was playing in the park, and there was this big thunderstorm. I got scared and ran and hidden in the trees. Dad looked and looked for me, and he found me sleeping under a bush. He didn't scold me or anything. He just lifted me up real gently and carried me home. I cried, you know, but I was so happy to see him. I was so happy he found me. You don't hate him, do you, Joey? No. No, Kathy, I don't hate him. Good. I thought so. Good night. Dad! 
You all right? That place is dead, Joy. I won't be drawing any more paychecks from there. Well, let's go home. 